Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to day 11 of For the Better, 31 days of pursuing the heart of God. And basically what we've been discussing and kind of challenging ourselves with is this one question of why does God want to speak to me? Therefore, I'm going to go after him to find out what he would say to me, what he wants to say to me, you know, and why? And one of the reasons that God speaks to us, that Jesus spoke to his disciples and the father, you know, spoke by his spirit to the prophets of old and all that, trying to reconcile Israel was to promote and foster and give peace nationally and in the heart of each individual. So I wanted to read something to you just to give you a picture of what peace is, okay? And this comes from the Strong's Concordance, uh, the different uh, uses of the word peace. Okay, it says, a state of national tranquility, exemption from the rage and havoc of war, peace between individuals, in other words, harmony, concord, security, safety, prosperity, felicity, because peace and harmony make and keep things safe and prosperous. Of the Messiah's peace, the way that leads to peace, of Christianity, that tranquil state of a soul assured of its salvation through Christ, and so fearing nothing from God and content with its earthly lot of whatsoever sort that is, the blessed state of devout and upright men after death. So those are all the different reasons, uh, or the, all the different definitions and connotations of that word peace. And Jesus said to his disciples, I am speaking these things to you so that you might have joy, like we said in a previous challenge. But he also said, I'm speaking to you so that you might have peace. He said, I'm giving to you my peace and I'm giving it to you not as the world would give with interest and you better pay me back and like, no, I'm just giving it to you freely so you can be blessed, so you can rest and you can be free from fears, free from anxiety, free from depression. That's what peace does. You know, we there's so much fear about the future right now and fear about what's going to go on in our lives and anxiety can pop up on any given particular issue of our life. And Jesus is saying by the Holy Spirit, he's saying, I'm going to give I give you peace. I am the spirit of peace. Come into your life to protect you and keep all that stuff at bay. You do not need to be afraid of that stuff. So our challenge today is to just receive the peace of God and ask him to help us walk in that. Just that simple. So let's pray. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus and we just say, we receive your peace. Let your peace be in our hearts just as it was in Jesus's heart just as it is in your heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, here's the caveat to that challenge. If you read Philippians chapter four, I believe it's verse uh, somewhere between six and eight, somewhere in there. <laughs> and it says, I'll put it up, but it says, you have to do certain things. If you're anxious and you're filled up with anxiety, I mean, there's another scripture that says, cast all your cares upon the Lord because he cares for you. But also in Philippians, it says, hey, listen, if you have issues, share them to the Lord, pour out your heart to the Lord, you know, with thanksgiving and definite requests and petitions, pray, tell God what's on your heart, give it to him, let him have it, which on all these scriptures kind of the different pictures like for the Old Testament from Peter's epistle and from Philippians they all are saying the same thing which is just tell God about it tell him what you want tell him what you're looking for and ask him and then just let it go and you say and then once you do that the peace that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart it's like okay you've given it to me now trust me to take care of it Psalm 138 8 says the Lord will perfect that which concerns me. See right there, God's speaking of peace. He's saying, so be, pe be at peace. Peace be still and know that I am God. We have to be able to rest in God. And God wants to give us that today. That peace, that sense of rest, that everything's gonna be okay. Okay? 
So I hope you guys were blessed by that. Walk in peace today on this day 11 of your challenge, and I will see you guys tomorrow. See ya.